First, a public health warning. I am not yet clear enough on the distinctions between issue attention cycles and issue life cycles to make this video. I'm doing it, therefore, to get shot down in flames. Then, if I survive the crash, I will make a better sequel. How's that for dialectic and iterative? Issue attention cycles follow attention, which fluctuates because critical events, focusing events, triggering events are usually infrequent and unpredictable, cannot be easily exploited, and after a time lose their impact. Dog Bites Man is not a news story. And journalists get tired of writing the same stories, readers of reading them. So when a new shiny issue comes along... But the issue is now on the agendas of three key groups. Civil society, social movement organisations, scientists and maybe some journalists. Corporations, an industry and their allies who keep a watching brief. And the state, the bureaucracy and the politicians. The former need to be seen to be responsive and the latter will want an ongoing policy process as a fig leaf in case the issue blows up in their faces again. They can't afford to be, be seen doing nothing. So the issue has its own slower dynamic. As Flanagan and Uriah, 2016, point out, Policy dynamics will interact with other relevant dynamics, electoral, budget and planning cycles, economic cycles, organisational life cycles, each with their own logic and imperatives. It will bimble along as advocacy coalitions slowly form, policy subsystems get owned, problems, politics and policy streams trickle on their merry way. There will be flare-ups. Issue entrepreneurs get lucky, smart, or both. New disasters happen, followed by marches or petitions. Reports that were commissioned do indeed get written, and not all of them can be released at 5pm on a Friday afternoon just before Christmas. Politicians are sometimes forced by coalition partners in knife-edge minority governments to not keep punting an issue into the long grass. Meanwhile, Corporations are thinking about which stakeholders to use as human shields and perhaps even cleaning up their act, if that is the smarter and cheaper thing to do. And don't be forgetting, corporations and industries have always have a lot on their plates. As Clark et al. 2015 put it, Issue life cycle literature addresses two important aspects of how issues are managed, the cumulative effects of a single issue over time and the cumulative effect of multiple issues affecting the same firm over time. In all this, remember, the existence of a policy process enables politicians to say that matters are indeed in hand and that there's nothing to see here. That's important with the 24-hour news cycle, as distinct from a 24 to 48-month attention cycle, and a, well, 24 to 48-year issue cycle. Some issues just fade away, solved unintentionally by technological, demographic or social changes. Others flare up occasionally, a bit like herpes. Others become chronic and slowly fatal, like drug-resistant tuberculosis. Well, hello, climate change.